I know you probably obviously wanted to end up in the same place as Eddie, but how realistic did you feel that was? And, and were you surprised he wasn't drafted? Um, I was. Yeah, no, he was an unbelievable college kicker, and um, it was just a pleasure to work with him throughout our college career. And, and it's just so rare to have two college specialists end up at the same place um, in the NFL. So, um, you know, just having the opportunity to make that happen is just pretty cool. Georgia was talking about how you've kind of gone out of your way to not make him feel like the, the odd man out. Was that kind of a point of emphasis? Because obviously you can see how a guy like that may, may see you and Eddie getting along so well. What, what was kind of sure. your your emphasis there? Yeah, there was no bias whatsoever just, you know, being teammates with Eddie in college. Um, you know, I know there's a kicker competition going on, so each and every day we go out and compete and work to, to get each other better. So, you know, that's my mindset going through it. Is it hard, you know, not to be a little biased towards your friend and teammate? Um, you can see it that way, but no, it's really not. Um, you know, I just see two kickers going at it each and every day and, you know, giving it their best. So, you know, I'm there just to make it an even playing field for both those guys. Sachi was saying that what having the, he'd never had a right footed kicker and a left footed kicker at the same time. And then he thought that the holding was going to be a problem. It was going to be an issue, but it turned out it's not. Well, how, why are you so, so seamless and being able to move side to side? Um, you know, that's just something I can just always pick up pretty quickly. You know, it's kind of just like writing with your right hand and your left hand. It's tough to kind of do at first. And, um, you know, once you get the hang of it, it, it's pretty easy. So, you know, we work it every day. I think, you know, we've had hundreds and hundreds of reps just from the right side and the left side since I've been here. And um, so, you know, it's starting to become very smooth and it's the operation is so, so clean. So it's coming along really well. You said that you were a catcher and you thought that maybe that shifting of weight and that kind of thing, do you, is there anything to that? Uh, maybe, you know, I think just that squatting position, just the hand-eye coordination, uh, I think it really all kind of plays into it. I was a two-sport guy my whole life, and, um, you know, just seeing the ball, catching the ball, placing the ball, it's, it's so critical. So. You played baseball, what, through high school, basically? All the way through high school, okay. till my you, senior year. Are you naturally ambidextrous in other things, such as writing, batting, throwing? Um, really not at all. <laughs> Nothing else. Uh, no. <laughs> Um, I had in college, not for a left-footed kicker, but I just kind of messed with it and practiced with it. Um, you know, just seeing um, the punter ahead of me, Kyle Christie, when I was at Florida, I saw at his pro day, there was a coach that made him hold both sides. So that was something I always just kind of worked on maybe once a week throughout college, just, you know, in case that opportunity presented itself. Was there anything that stood out to you from your from your workout with, with uh, the Rich and any kind of sign that, hey, maybe the Raiders are going to be a team that's interested in the draft? Um, you know, nothing really. Nothing in particular stood out. There was a couple other coaches that day during the workout, but, um, you know, just having that one time, meeting him and my first impression of him was so huge, um, how, how much he pays attention to detail. And, and in my opinion, he's the best special teams coach in the league. So just having that opportunity to play with him and, and learn as much as I can in my first year is going to be huge for me. Raider, Raiders have uh, quite a tradition at the punter position. Um, even the guy you're replacing, Marquette, had a pretty big personality. Are, are you very aware of that legacy? Does it mean anything to you? Um, it does. I mean, some of the best punters in NFL history have come through here. Uh, Ray Guy, Shane Leckler. So, you know, there are always is, is some big shoes to fill. Um, you know, I'm just going to play my role this year, coming in as a rookie with the team, and, and try to have the bi biggest impact that I possibly can. So, Obviously, you knew plenty about Eddie before arriving here. What have you learned about Giorgio over these past few months? Um, I love Giorgio. Uh, he's a competitor. He's a hard worker. And um, everything he does, he does with a purpose. And um, you know, I think that's what the coaching staff really likes about him here. That's what I like about him personally. And, <clears throat> and he loves to compete. So he's a really good kicker. So Eddie was a soccer player. And were you, uh, do you remember when he first came out for football, were your first impressions? Or like, um, how was that transition to football for him? It was pretty seamless, surprisingly. Um, you know, just for being a guy that had no real high school experience kicking a football, coming to the Division One level and playing in front of 95,000 people every Saturday, um, you would think there would be some issues with that, kind of translating from soccer to football. But, but there was, n there was no, uh, no trouble with it whatsoever. You know, he executed when he needed to. And, and he's so calm and cool under pressure that, you know, he just goes out there, quiets out the crowd and kicks the ball straight, so it's pretty cool. No, he's, he, like you're saying that he was good pretty much from the start. Have you seen, like, um, like what kind of progress have you seen from him from the first time you saw him to now? So when he first came into UF, he was, he was a very raw player. Um, he didn't really know much about the technique of, of kicking a football and you know all the little things that, that play into it in terms of his approach, his steps, his angles. And um, yeah, that's just something he gradually learned about and picked up on as, as he went through the process and matured as a player. And um, you know now that he's around Coach Basaccia and, and even Giorgio, um, those are two really good mentors for him. He's learning more about the game and learning more about himself as a player.
How did directional punting evolve to become such a big part of your game? Uh, my special teams coaches at Florida put so much emphasis on it. Um, we faced so many scary returners at the SEC level, so we had to find ways to shrink the field, get the ball to the sideline, and you know, kind of limit the opportunities for those returners. So that was something I worked on day in, day out, and I knew you know, the pressure of you know, the situations I was going to be in and, and how much of a role I could have with the team if, if I could do that and uh, you know, kind of limit the returns of the opponents. Um, so that's just kind of, you know, as, as my career went on, I just developed in that way. And um, I want to take my game uh, to the NFL the same I did in college. So. You had one yesterday where you pooched it kind of right along the sideline inside the 10-yard line. Is that something that you practice when you're by yourself by placing like a cone or something right at that five-yard line sideline? Or how do you just kind of focus on that one area? Sure, yeah, that was something I've, I've always kind of messed with in college, but I never really, you know, was uh, confident enough to whip it out in the game because you know it's pretty risky. It's pretty untraditional. Um, so yeah, that was just like a little stinger, kind of low line drive out of bounds. It's um, something I've been working on, and I wanted to whip it out in the team period and see how I could execute it. So worked out pretty well. George, you compared you to Captain America earlier, saying you do a little bit of everything. Do you identify with that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can identify with Captain America, but I'll take the compliment from Giorgio. <laughs> There's those tapes of Eddie making like 72, 77 yard field goals. He's a little guy compared to, you know, like Sebastian Janikowski. How do you think he generates that much power? Um, he's just naturally gifted. Um, some people are just born with a leg. Like some guys can go out and throw a ball at baseball, you know, over 100 miles per hour. And that's something I can never do. Um, some guys are just kind of blessed with that gift. And, um, you know, for him, it's just a lot of leg speed and contact. Um, it's just kind of uh, momentum and. Um, really good contact. It's pretty amazing. There's a lot of veterans in your coverage unit from, you know, Keith Smith and Kyle mm -hmm. Wilbur. How, how much of an ad advantage is that to you? Because obviously you need their help to pin people deep, uh, to, to have that kind of veteran core there, especially in punt coverage. It's, it's huge. Um, you know, having guys like that that you just named covering um, punts for me is a dream come true. Uh, you know, you always want to have a coverage unit like the one we have. And, um, you know, we're growing as a team. You know, each and every day we go out there, we're learning a little bit about each other's games. And, um, you know, they're learning what it's like to cover my balls. And I'm learning what it's like to kick to certain parts of the field. And, um, you know, it's a unique experience to work with those guys. And, and we're really growing together. So. Last one. With the occasional exception, Sachia is rotating Eddie and Giorgio. So you're really focusing and holding for a lefty or a righty on a, on a given day. What does that do for you to be able just to focus on one side on most days? And is one over the other a bit more enjoyable or stimulating for you, knowing that, oh, today's righty day or lefty day? I wouldn't say it's more stimulating, but it is easier for me to work from the right side. That's something I had done since even high school. I held from the right side all throughout high school and college. So, um, But, you know, it's nice to alternate days like that. It not only helps the kickers with their legs and keeping them as fresh as possible, but it also helps me not having to make that transition constantly throughout practice. And I can just kind of focus on one side and then go to the other side, and it makes it pretty easy.